Hi, this is QDC. What we're going to build today is Dragon's uh, re-release kit, the German super tank Mouse. The Mouse is one of Hitler's um, secret weapons that never came true. Hitler had an obsession with secret weapons and for him, he thought that this secret weapon, this huge super tank, which he called the Mouse, was going to win the war for him in World War II. That's kind of strange why he called super, uh, his ultimate weapon, the biggest tank during World War II, called the mouse. But anyway, um, the reason why I bought it was because this tank is an unusual tank and it seemed like a lot of fun just trying to build uh, Hitler's secret weapon. So let's go ahead and build it. Let's go take a look inside the box. Here is the gun barrel in two halves. The wheels and tracks. Oh wow, take a look at this. The upper turret. It's huge. I just studied the instruction sheet and this is what we're going to do for today. We're going to follow everything according to its instructions to the letter. Um, step number one is that we're going to um, reassemble the suspension system with the wheels and the sprocket, put them onto the lower hull, um, do the upper hull, do the tracks, construction of the, the back of the tank, and putting on the uh, construction of the turret. I just finished gluing all the parts for the upper hull and there isn't much uh, for a lot for me to glue. All I've done was I added the, um, looks like the air intake ports, um, these guards here, the hatch, um, some covers and the front two headlights. The hardest part about building this kit is to assemble the tracks. The tracks are actually laid out in individual lengths, almost like Dragon's exclusive uh, magic track system. Now, what I've done in the past was to actually uh, put these tracks onto the model first and then glue them on later. That didn't work. What you need to do is that you need to glue these tracks on first before you put them onto the model. I forgot to let you know this, but um, I used Tamiya extra thin cement to actually glue these tank tracks together. And um, this has a very uh, long time for it to set, which is perfect for this particular procedure. So I'm going to just simply put the tracks on, like so. The instruction uh, calls for me to put the side skirt plate last, but I'm going to do this right now. Um, it's easier for me.
I just finished the model and take a look at it. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Very detailed. Hatches look pretty cool. This hatch looks pretty cool. A huge gas tank. And the wheels and tracks looks pretty attractive too. What I have right here is a completed kit that, um, that some of you folks may have seen earlier from my other video of the T34 tank. I shown, I'm showing this to you because I want you um, really to see the size comparison between the mouse and the T34. The mouse is huge compared to T34. Um, so it gives you a pretty good perspective about the, about the sheer size of this huge tank. We're about to paint the tank, but before we paint the tank, I want to show you something on my computer. You're looking at a picture of the actual mouse tank itself, and I want to focus your attention onto the tracks and the sides of the tank. The track is full of mud, and the side of the tank has mud itself too. So I'm going to replicate this on my mom. I just installed the hood onto my workbench, and this is a homemade hood in which I'm going to, which vents all the fumes out into uh, out into my window. I'm using enamel-based spray paint, and uh, it's always a good idea to use a hood in order for you to work properly without getting yourself hurt. And always wear safety glasses too, like I am, so just in case you might uh, there might be an accident. So the first step I'm doing right now is to spray uh, the first coat, which is basically a primer. I just finished painting the primer and right now I want to give my tank shadows and in order for me to do that I want to paint my entire paint, uh, tank black. Now I'm going to paint the main color. The main color is dry so right now I'm going to use my airbrush I set it to fine, and now I'm going to paint the camouflage pattern. pattern on this tank. After that what I've done was I hand painted the wheels, the tracks, and also dry brushed the wheels and tracks as well. I protected the tank by spraying a coat of future floor wax and then followed by a coat of testers dull coat to give it that uh, final finish that you're seeing right now. I'm not very good at dry brushing camouflage patterns so I just simply left the camouflage patterns alone. I didn't dry brush it at all. What's going to happen next is I'm going to tint the entire tank with a light coat of white color. Right now I'm doing what is known as pin washing. I'm actually using uh, a diluted form of black artist oil paint mixed with mineral spirits and I diluted it and put it onto this brush. I'm basically accentuating all the crevices on this tank, the weld marks, so it'll show up. I'm about to add some mud onto the tank. There's a lot of ways to add mud to your tank. Um, a lot of people like to use MIG pigments and brush the, t um, the mud onto, onto the wheels and onto the, onto the tracks. Other people like to use natural earth from the backyard and put that on there as well. I like to use towel grout. Um, bought from a local tile, uh, from a local hardware store. Anyway, what you see right here is um, diluted um, glue, white, uh, yellow glue, and I'm just going to use a paintbrush and just simply brush the 
the glue onto the wheel and then with the towel grout I'm just going to simply put it on just like that weathering for this tank was extremely light the mouse was never used in actual combat because there was only two that was ever really made and so what I've done was with pastel chalks I brushed on black onto the muzzle and then with an ordinary pencil I simply um, penciled in uh, worn marks onto the hatches so this is the, the completed kit all done, completed, and painted. It looks pretty good to me. I had a lot of fun. Alright, that completes the model kit. What I like about the model kit was that um, it, was a, it was a huge tank and the best part about it was just building it because it was so, so big, really. The hardest part about this kit was that it was hard for me to put on the tracks. That was the hardest part. What you're going to see next is a video slideshow of the completed model kit. But, but, but before you see that, I just want to let you know, as always, that just because I put this video here on YouTube, it doesn't make me an expert at model kit building. I am not an, a model expert. I'm just a regular guy, just like you. I hope this encourages you to build a model kit of your own. Either it's a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't really matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching and have a great day.